well, let's see if um, I've got the technical capability. Let's have a go. Hello and welcome to Don't Worry Be Happy, Series 5, Episode 8. We're going to call this one the last episode because it's the last episode. I'm hoping we will end on a high with this one. Well, you never know. And you know what? Keller beers are like London buses. We've not had any alls for any of the series. Then we get four in a row. I've, I've decided with the fun fact that we yeah. will end on a fun fun fact. Oh, not an educational, not a made up no. one, but a fun, a fun one. Fact. Now, if, if you've spilt beer on your top and you've had to wash it and hang it on the washing line. Yeah. Then Weltenberger Cluster have got the ideal thing for you. Oh, gosh, he's into marketing. Go on. I'll be treated. They, they sell yeah. Weltenberger Cluster clothes yeah. pegs. No way. They do. <laughs> really clothes pegs. Clothes pegs. And not only that, it's yeah. got their name across the peg. Yeah. And the top of the peg is in the shape of a stein. Really? Have you got an image? Um, I I do. Okay, there we go. I can't see a damn thing. Hold on, I haven't clicked the button yet. There you go. Yay! Oh, oh, look. Cool. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That's a peg and a half with the stein. What a find. What a... That is, you know what, fun fact to end all fun facts on series five. That is, bruv. Moving on to the bottle design. I'm still overwhelmed by the peg, if I'm honest. Well, that is pretty good. Yeah. The the bottle design's nothing special. Yeah, I've got, yeah. But along, oh. the, uh, along the top here. Yeah, it's the gold. It tells you that it's the world, world's oldest um, monastery brewery. Well, it's going to be an eight for the label. I'm going with a seven. There you go. Of course, rather, oh, it's quite cloudy. It is quite cloudy. Look at that. I mean, that is cloudy, isn't it? I mean, I good, can't. Good, good bit of froth. I can't see myself. Sorry, I've gone in for a little sip before I've given the score. That's outrageous. Well, it is the last one in the series. Um, I'm going. I'm going eight for the look. Mild and velvety, with a slender malt body, and a light hop note. And I would say that sums that up very well. I'm. I'm. I'm really, really confused about this. I don't know what happens, and I don't know if that's me going. Well, that's technically velvety, but I'm taking a glump. It's in my mouth. I can feel some bubbles, and then nothing. You know you get you know you get when you when you burn um, like paper on a fire, and the paper kind of flies up in the air. Yeah, go and touch the touch the cindered paper, and it just kind of completely disintegrates and disappears. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I'm getting with this beer. It goes in the mouth. I go. I know it's in there, and I'm getting some bubbles, and then, and then it's like someone's pinched it. I, I do find that when you drink it, you get the a, a, a quite a hit of taste down the sides of the tongue, and and the middle of the tongue feels almost neutral. I just want to know who keeps pinching the beer when it hits my mouth. I tell you one thing I have noticed though, is that when you go to taste it, yeah, you you bring you bring the glass up to your mouth. You get a beautiful. Because, because you do. You don't just stip it down yeah, your, but, your ear. Just you so get you. a beautiful soft smell hit the nose do just you? before you drink it. As far yeah. as I'm concerned, yeah, this is this is another good solid beer. I'm going to go eight for the taste and eight for danger. I'm beginning to sound like you with the eights. Eight. And what you mean? Cool, mouth. calm, sophisticated. Yeah. My my score comes out at 32 for an eight average again. Albeit, right. this is very different to the previous one. It is. The key for me is if I if I don't just pour it, drink it, pour it, drink it, giving it a bit of air gives it a, some subtlety to this. So here's what I'm going to do. 
Taste, I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. Because it does disappear. Danger, though, I'm going to take your word for it because you're right. I, oh, I've emptied the bottle. I still can't work out the score, which is a very dangerous thing. So I'm going to give it a nine for danger because I reckon it will take me probably about a barrel load to work out if I've drunk this. I, I'm I'm drinking it. Exactly, and, I, yeah. and it's... And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying someone's pinched my beer. So yeah, give which, I mean, maybe that's what they're trying to achieve. Well, if I get all of the buggers that pinched my beer, they're in trouble because I enjoyed that. This one does feel like it's kind of someone who goes under the radar a bit, but you know, hangs around and he's and he's there. Potentially leaves a stuff mark every now and again, but that's just my view. That's not that's not how he is. Sammy Hoopier. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I think these Keller beers are really good centre-backs. It's funny you should say that, because my players are centre-backs as well. <laughs> well, there we go. How weird is that? Go on. I'm going to go with Mark Lawrence. Yeah, you see, I, do you know what was going through my head? Henry, 